am. I'm just here to do what I do best. You know what I'm saying? And let's go ahead and pay my due diligence. Now, I really wasn't even going to do a follow-up video in regards to the situation between EBK, Young Jack, and Peso Peso. But it's just mind-boggling to know that so many people would actually think that I would get up on the internet, that I would actually wake up one day and be like, yeah, I'm going to make up this story in regards to EBK, Young Jack, and Peso Peso. Mind y'all, I never even heard of Peso Peso until I got the information. You know what I'm saying? So the fact that everybody is convinced that I literally woke up one morning and said, okay, I'm going to put this story together in regards to these two artists and let me just hope I accumulate some type of some type of traction. No, that's not what I did. What are you talking about? That doesn't even make any sense. I don't even know who Peso Peso is. If anything, I would have said EBK Young Jock got up on somebody from EBK or somebody from at oakland or somebody from sacramento that would have made more sense why would i go all the way to texas to make it seem like jock did that don't even make no sense i don't even know who peso peso is that's why when i covered the story on uh peso peso and ebk young jock i really didn't even know too much about the sauce walking incident because i really didn't even I, i'm gonna keep it a hundred i didn't do a thorough um I didn't conduct a thorough analysis in regards to the situation with Sauce Walker and whatever transpired in downtown Los Angeles that left one uh, deceased on the scene. You know what I'm saying? I could be honest, but it was like, it, I don't know nothing about Sauce Walker or, or Peso Peso to really even try to understand that narrative because I really don't know anything. I don't know anybody that knows them. I don't know anybody that does business with them. I don't know anybody that's ever had any relations with Peso Peso or Sauce Walker. So I couldn't really even I, I mean I just heard, you know what I'm saying? Whatever I heard. Then I watched a couple of YouTube videos and that's you know we we go off conspiracy theories. Like we don't need solid evidence. But what is true and what is substantial evidence is the fact that EBK Young Jock got got up on um peso peso because if you notice and you look at his old instagram pictures from uh, uh january to june he has on those cuban links and that plain jane rolly bro i know those plain jane rollies are hitting they're more than a bust downs bro once you bust a rolly down the value goes down when it's a plain jane rolly that bro those are bro those are timeless like those are gonna forever have value because it's a plain Jane Rolex. If you ever, I actually did um, I did a project on uh uh Rolex, and I actually like you know what I'm saying like did my homework and understood and understood the history in regards to the whole Rolex. You know what I'm saying uh, uh, uh watch and all that. Like you know what I'm saying like the dude that uh, made that that made the Rolex. Like I know everything about the dude. Like he made the Rolex, whatever, and then about the girl. Uh, it was like an uh, Olympic swimmer, like something about in the ocean and then something about when they found somebody in the ocean. No, I think it was like a something they were doing in the ocean or whatever. And then they came back and the Rolex was still working even in the water. They called it like the Pearl Rolex. And then like when they found somebody in the ocean, they were able to identify his identity based on his Rolex and a serial number. So like those are like timeless watches. Like those are really good watches. But what really what what, what people really don't know about Rolex is Rolex is actually actually now a non-profit organization people didn't know that either you know what i'm saying i actually did like a school project on rolex so it's like don't get it so i know for a fact peso peso did not sell that plain jane rolex i know for a fact he did not lose it in a dice game i know for a fact that's not what happened now they trying to say like um basically like uh peso peso like ebk young jock and peso peso was like you know what i'm saying that was that was getting loaded that was getting that was that was you know what i'm saying that was sipping and peso peso sipped so much that he fell asleep and when he fell asleep that's when they kind of ran off with like his chains and his rolex and the fifty thousand. now um jock even posted a picture with him wearing the chain a week later and then peso peso like he really was going i know he was going through a lot because he was distraught like you know i'm saying like he was off his pivot he got knocked off his pivot at that point so it was like don't get on here saying that i'm making it up for some type of for for, for a view you know what I'm saying? Or a, 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 a subscribe. Like, that doesn't make any sense. I don't know peso, peso. You know what I'm saying? I don't know anything about Texas. I never... Bro, I had to really, like, try to understand, dude, to even cover the story. And the only reason why I covered the story was because it's about to be a chain of events unraveling. And then it's all going to make sense in the end. Like, okay, that's why Jaleese touch, touch bases. Yeah. 
touch bases on that topic in regards to EBK Young Jock. Now, Peso, Peso, I don't have no problem. I don't know him, and I know he probably didn't want this to hit the internet. But you know what I'm saying? Like, I got to do what I got to do. Like, it's, do you think a lot of people want certain things to hit the internet? Uh, there's things pertaining to me that I don't want to hit the internet, but it's going to surface and it's going to do its one, two. It is what it is. Peso, Peso ain't anything less than a man because he was knocked off his pivot for momentarily you know what i'm saying like now ebk young jack that's why i said are you okay like i really want to know if you good because you be doing so much and this is not the first rapper that he got weird with so it's not like this is an ongoing chain of events like y'all just don't know anything because everything doesn't hit the internet but i know everything that transpires in regards to the back end because like behind the scenes because there's people that are around her. There's people that these people talk to. It's not even, It's not rappers. Like, you guys have it so misconstrued in regards to, like, who I get my intel from. Do you think a rapper is really going to sit up and tell me all the business? For, be for real. No. Like, it, it, no. I'm telling you, like, <laughs> y'all got to really know how this business works. Like, you know what I'm saying? And we got to sell uh, we have to sell a story to our audience like we have to be persuasive we have to so sometimes our information isn't going to be a hundred percent accurate sometimes it's going to be 50 percent accurate sometimes it's going to be 85 percent accurate or it's going to be a hundred percent accurate that's just how the, that's just how this game goes you know what i'm saying we don't need substantial evidence we're just here we it's like gossip girls you know what i'm saying we just gossiping you know what i'm saying this is telephone at this point you know what i'm saying now it's like is it it kind of you know what i'm saying it's it's unfortunate that this hit the fan or whether they hit the fan but if rappers lived in their truth they wouldn't have to worry about getting exposed if peso peso would have stood on business and said it was up with ebk nobody would be oblivious to this transpiring right now he should have dropped the song and he should have went straight towards ebk especially ebk young jock because i would have instantly said yeah dude got me you know what i'm saying but, you know, maybe people move a certain type of way. And, they're, you know, I'm not saying he doesn't move strategic or militant. That's not what I'm saying about Peso Peso. What I'm saying is it, it maybe, you know, he's waiting for his time to get, to, to, to you feel me, double back and get to get one up on EBK Young Jack. Who knows? No telling. But just say a year or five years from now, something does transpire between, b between the two infrastructures or Sauce Walker or whatever the case may be, or Peso Peso or EBK Young Jack or whatever the case may be in regards to the EBK infrastructure and um, Sauce Walker's infrastructure and Peso Peso or whatever the case may be. Because, like I said, I don't know too much about them, so I don't even know the name of their little they little thing you know what i'm saying but like say if something transpires a couple of months from now or a couple of years from now you guys are going to go back to this and be like jaleese was telling the truth the whole time what what made what made these two you know what i'm saying get into it like you know and then it's good okay oh yeah we'll, we'll, we'll because of the chains and the rolex and the fifty thousand. like it's gonna make sense something's gonna happen between these two like it's not like i don't think peso peso nor sauce walker is really gonna let it go because from what i heard down in texas they really stand on business and like I said, Peso Peso is of Mexican descent, and I'm just, I, I know they bleed that. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, um, I didn't just wake up one day and decide to cover the story and make it up or whatever the case may be. Like, y'all got to stop getting on this internet. Y'all got to stop, like, getting in the comments. Like, I get it. Peso Peso probably didn't want it to hit the fan. And then Jock got on his Instagram talking about some, I didn't touch nobody, whatever. The case. Boy, we know you didn't touch nobody. What I'm saying is this is what the story was to me. Now, I heard another story was you kind of got weird on him when he fell asleep and after y'all got faded or whatever the case may be because y'all been sipping. Y'all was sipping all night. Now, Jock, we know you be sipping because all you do is sip. And even in your rap. We can hear you just got this sipping. So don't make it seem like you don't be sipping. You know what I'm saying? You have a problem and you need to address that problem. Now, what you did was, you know, dude had 50000 You didn't have 50000 so you got a phone, dude. You know what I'm saying? You're the only one out of EBK that ain't ever really signed the deal. And ain't nobody in EBK signed the deal but j -Bo. So what we're not going to do is get on here with the extracurricular pump faking, sir. Because you with the extracurricular pump faking. I wasn't even going to do that to you. What did I say in the last video? I don't have no problem with you. I'm, I'm really concerned for you. Are you okay? Are you okay? I really want to ask you that. Are you okay? Because something is really wrong with you. The fact that you keep doing this because you fell victim in Los Angeles, California on Figueroa and your chains were confiscated and you were humiliated all over the internet. Now you've been out to like redeem yourself but you're redeeming yourself with people that had nothing to do with that situation mozzie got up on a whole song and he he linked up with the dudes that confiscated your chains he literally got on a song and said that ain't why it got around your neck but that's 925 what is you talking about
What did you tell? You need to redirect, re redirect your energy towards Mozzie and them. And they clicked up with the Flyboys and all. You're, you're, you're messing up alliances because you're so, bro, you need to really put the cup down. You really need to kick the cup because it's time. It's like, it's literally knocking you off your pivot. Like, you don't even know how to maneuver. Like, you're so like, like, you don't know how to, bro, like, you really need to seek some type of help for real. Like, because it's like, you're redirecting your anger towards everything that's going on in California, Stockton and Sacramento per se towards people that you could be building alliances with like you don't even know how to conduct business what are you talking about you don't even know how to i would not have did that to peso peso why because i would have felt like i would have got further being cool with dude i feel like i would have got further if we would have locked in and you know what i'm saying i would have been able to do do my little one two he's of mexican descent you're gonna go further with them on your side i'm not saying you know now due to the politics in california i know how it is with you know what i'm saying with the with the with the uh with the minorities and how they go back and forth in regards to the warfare but what i'm saying is the fact that peso peso was willing to work with you and he was rocking with you and y'all was obviously cool enough to where y'all was wearing each other chains and he was letting you hold his money and all that you know what i'm saying it was it there was some there was some type of trust there so you you wasn't supposed to like you wasn't supposed to ruin that you know what i'm saying and that's all i'm saying like that's kind of where i'm getting at you about like you wasn't supposed to ruin that because of what you got going on in Sacramento and Stockton. Like, dude, you need to stand on business and handle that. You need to go build your allies down in Texas, whether that's Louisiana, you go to Florida, New York, whatever. The build an alliance. You need to build your alliances. You know what I'm saying? Like, how are you? You do not know how to conduct business. That's one thing I can say, dude. You really need to reevaluate yourself. You need to go regroup. You need to, you know what I'm saying, just sober up and go regroup there's nothing wrong with that i'm not telling you anything that's wrong and then don't get in the comments saying oh jaleese we don't need you to give any type of whatever the case may be well y'all don't have to watch me period what are you talking about i'm not gonna keep playing with y'all on my youtube channel stop watching me youtube is the second biggest platform in the world you do not have to watch me bye bye the next time y'all get up in these comments you're getting blocked how about that I don't have to deal with it. Now, like I said, EBK, young jock, go do what you need to do and stop burning your bridges, boy. Stand on business with who you need to stand on business with. You over here redirecting your anger towards the wrong people, dude. And uh, like I said, peso, peso, if you have an issue or, you, or if you feel like I delivered the story wrong, it ain't nothing to reach out to me. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, you don't want that to come to light because you feel like, you know, you were deprived as a man. That's understandable. But don't make it seem like I just made it up or if anybody calling your phone, you trying to make it seem like it never happened. Well, please get on the internet with your chains and your Rolex right now. That's what I... I, I challenge you to get on the internet right now. Uh, uh, what's today? October 5th, 2024. To get on the internet right now with your Rolex and your uh, Cuban Link song. Not that rosary that you just purchased and that Cuban Link bracelet. I want that same plain Jane Rolex and I want the Cuban Links that you was rocking the first six months of this year. Sir, now I wasn't even going to do all that. Now I got to do all that. Now I got Now I got to come for everybody because everybody is playing with me like i just made it up no i didn't make it up i don't have to make that up sir anyways i didn't even know who a peso peso was period to make it up now i know ebk young jock and i know this is what he do and they shot a music video why they ain't drop the music video matter of fact drop the music video if it ain't no static between peso peso and ebk young jock yeah okay yeah, okay. Like I said, until then, I rest my case.